This is our underground world. Speleologists have had to overcome numerous natural difficulties in order to explore and investigate this attractive underground world. Logically, the methods of descent have evolved with the passing of time and with the appearance of new materials, until the development and use of the current techniques for vertical progression in speleology, using a single rope, which has resulted in a reduction in the volume and weight of the equipment and improve the autonomy of the cavers and increase their safety. Based on this technique for vertical progression in speleology since the year 2000 and drew up the first set of regulations with an official Andalusian calendar for competitions which has served as the base for the Spanish Federation and the celebration in 2005 of the first Spanish championships in the city of Malaga. The competitions are organized in the view of the public on climbing walls or on the walls of buildings in open air spaces or perhaps inside sports pavilions with all the necessary infrastructure for an event of this type. And now most of the Spanish autonomous regions organize their own tournaments and their sports men and women compete in state events. I don't to my boy to be. The first of the disciplines in these competitions for vertical progression in speleology is velocity, in which the competitor has to cover a distance of 30 meters of cord in an endless circuit in the fastest time possible using only the vertical progression elements of the ventral and hand blockers and with the collaboration of two helpers who respectively give and take rope as needed while keeping the cord taut at the same time. With the practice of this discipline the speleologist develops the rapidity of his motor responses increasing his capacity to rationally coordinate his movements according to the external conditions in which the exercise is carried out. For some age categories the 30 meter distance to cover is reduced by half at only 15 meters. As in the previous case, the second discipline in these competitions for vertical progression in speleology is resistance or stamina, where the distance to cover in an endless circuit is 120 meters for juveniles, adults and A veterans, and 60 meters for children and B veterans. In carrying out their preparation to take part in this discipline, the speleologists improve their strength flexibility and technical ability, indispensable qualities to carry out exercises and physical activity which uses large groups of muscles for prolonged periods of time and which allows the speleologist to keep his strength at a steady intensity during his underground explorations, overcoming fatigue and avoiding a drop in performance, increasing his capacity for concentration and obtaining rapid recuperation times. And the third discipline in these competitions for vertical progression in speleology is the circuit, which consists in covering in the fastest time possible and with all the technical and safety requirements outlined in specific sports manuals, a recreation of possible difficulties which we may find in a cave to overcome the differences of level present. Considered as the star discipline, the length of the circuit also varies according to the age of the different categories, during which the speleologists have to continuously climb or descend by the rope, as if they were overcoming all sorts of obstacles, crumbling, knots, hand grips, suspension ropes, all with a perfect combination of speed, stamina and technical dexterity. With these disciplines, the participants improve their application levels in techniques for vertical progression in speleology under the protection of the technical programs developed to increase their sporting prowess. 
knowledge of speleology is promoted among the public present and the creation and development of the speleology sports schools is strengthened. Schools which serve as the organisational structure to promote caving among youngsters of school age and thus promoting values such as strength, achievement, the value of friendship, learning to compete or facing defeat, all within a humanist and formative ideal which makes speleology a marvellous fiesta of sport.